Hello guys and welcome back to the Dull Monkey Garage YouTube channel. My name's Evan and on today's episode we are going to be installing some ADDW1 gauges. So we have the original gauges in the car still, so let me just show you. Obviously they're not on, oh the keys are in, perfect. So these are the original gauges that are in the car and uh, we're going to be swapping them out for this. Awesome, now that you guys know what is happening, let's roll that intro and get on with the video. Awesome, so welcome back guys, it has been a minute. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna cut forward in time and I'm gonna show you guys what comes in the box, in the package uh, for this kit. Then we'll cut back to here and now where I am and I'm going to start disassembling the cluster and getting everything out and we'll, we'll take it from there. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. Let me just show you what we're working with. So in one side of the packaging, so on one side of the packaging, we have the control modules. So these are the little switches. So you can go up and down on the brightness on the sides. And then switches, I think it's from blue to white. Can't be sure now, we'll check it out when we get it installed. And that's some sort of fuse switch type dealio. I've of course already unboxed it because I got really excited. I wanted to check everything out. So we got some sticky adhesive, we have these small gauges for what we have put away for now, and then we also have the large gauges, which I've gotten in kilometers, but if you have a look at my gauges, so here we go, I have miles on the big dial and kilometers on the smaller one, but <clears throat> me being me, I just thought fuck it, we'll just go full send on the kilometers. Uh, because we're in Ireland and kilometers are the way. Okay guys, so um, just to quickly show you where we're at, I have the center console out. Because this is a drift car, it's so much easier to disassemble. There was like two screws that I had actually left in. So um, they are now removed. So I'm gonna remove this piece up here now in a second. And uh, we're gonna disconnect the clip in the back of that. Like I said, once again, this is a drift car. So unfortunately, a how-to tutorial on this isn't really what I'm going for more. So just taking you along on the journey and uh, basically just showing you what's up and uh, showing you the finished results and hopefully you guys love it that looks really cool in the background <laughs> um but yeah so let's let's keep let's keep working away let's keep going and uh let's see how we get on cool so we have another little update so you can see the gauges are out i removed it and i've left this piece in you're probably wondering why but inside of this let me see if I can turn my flashlight on on my phone. Uh, you can see there is three switches. So they are for um, turning on the LEDs and all that kind of cool stuff. So we have them all hidden up inside of this little coven. So for that reason, I couldn't then take all the connections off. So we left them in place. So what happens now is I'm going to start disassembling this piece here, which is going to release this piece here. Um, I probably would need more wiring. I'm not quite sure what I need for this job. Uh, I will let you guys know some tips and tricks. That's kind of the thing here. Uh, we don't do full how-to tutorials or anything like that. We just kind of, we just kind of take you guys along for the ride. Uh, you come along for the experience, hang out with us and, um, yeah, you just hang out with us and we show you some tips and tricks if you're working on this job yourself. So, uh, I really do like this angle with the monkey in the background, it's very sick. Uh, so yeah, let me get down to it, and that's not a great angle. So let's get after it then, so let's go start tearing this apart, and then we will, once we have it out, 
I'll show you guys, give you a quick update, and I'll flick to inside where I'll work on it on the workbench. And we'll disassemble everything and go from there. Exciting times. Hey guys, um, what's going on? So, so I have the piece out. So if you're doing this yourself, it is four screws like everyone says, but I don't know where they're getting this circle clip from. So there's two at the front, two long ones at the back. And then you go around the ring for this. Uh, you just get pop that out with a screwdriver So that's how you do that I also needed to unclip this it's something to do with the Bose sound system. I'm not quite sure. I just had to token it back up But um, yeah, that's That's at least that bit done. So Yeah, I need to work on taking the top half off next so That's gonna be fun. Uh, let's get to it. Let's go and before we move on with removing that part of the car, have you subscribed? Because so many people have not subscribed and we have a lot of new friends here from our Instagram account because we are growing that also. So if you are new to the channel and you were checking out the videos, please do feel free to hit subscribe. It's free of charge to you and it helps us out massively. You more than you would even, you more than you'd know, honestly. Um, so yeah, please do hit it. Let's go. Cool, so what that took was, there was two 10 mil bolts. So one here and one here. So I just used a bit of an extension to get up into it. Actually, I used one of the screwdriver pieces. Yeah, worked the tree. And we have no car left. <laughs> Whole dashboard and everything is out. Wow, that's a big deal. <laughs> right, so I have that out. Well, very orange. So I have that out. So that is the gauge cluster out. Bye. And I also have now removed the gauges from yesterday, which you guys have already seen. So that means that we're going to go inside and we're going to disassemble the two gauge clusters. So that one, the mini one, and we're going to get to work. So this is where the magic happens. This is where all the fun stuff goes on. Uh, so if you're liking what you're seeing, please do hit subscribe. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take you guys inside and let's get going. Awesome, so we have made it inside, so we have both of the pieces here. Cool, so let's get going. been a minute right and um, the red that these two here have not been stuck on they're still loose but this one here has been stuck on I'm not gonna lie to you now that was the most anxiety filled thing ever because what kept happening was the 3m adhesive kept sticking uh horrible it kept sticking to the original clock or the original yeah the original clocks in the background oh my god so stressful because I kept lifting it back up and all. Oh god! But happily now that one is secured and I think it looks great. What do you guys think? Um, I am very very happy, and I can't wait to test them out in a few minutes. Hey guys, uh, what's going on? As you can see, things have gotten a little dark. Um, so we are just gonna. Sh I'm just gonna show you guys how everything turned out. So enjoy this little montage. Through trippin' Aquafina, I'm sippin' 15, kept a weapon on me Flow make digits, I'm on my, my business, stack chicken like what it's gon' be Crew in the cut, hey, you want us, red run when I tell a peace, love is 
Okay guys, um, I know you probably can't see me too well, but uh, just gonna quickly run through how everything was wired and that will be it. So um, quickly how it was done, uh, I ran all of the uh, gauges. So all of the gauges, I ran them all, every single one of them to the same power source. So they were all ran straight down into the 12 volt socket for um, the one that's just under the cup holder on the passenger side. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, so that's how all of the 12 volt sources come in. So that's why they're all already on. Um, so it's very simple to do it that way. And then I have all the controls hidden and I did wire them independently of one another. So I can change one to white and one to blue and vice versa and change all the different brightnesses. But for me, for my application, everything full brightness is the way I wanna go with it. So I just took everything away nicely. So uh, that is it for today's video. Huge, huge, huge shout out to the guys over in ADDW1 Legends. So thank you so much guys for sending these products over for us to check out and install on our Z. And if you are looking to pick up any of these products yourself or if you have any questions on how to install this that I haven't covered in this video, please do drop a comment down below or we do answer questions on our Instagram all the time. So drop us a message there too and um, I'll answer any questions you have. Um, but that is it for today's video. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't already. Please do check out our merch. Uh, it's always in the top pinned comment. So please do check it out. We have some really, really cool stuff over there. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.